The vast majority of gases used for industrial uses, such as welding and cutting, is purchased in cylinders. These cylinders must be constructed and maintained in accordance with the Department of Transportation's regulations. All cylinders must bear the DOT, Interstate Commerce Commission, or ICC specifications markings. The contents in the cylinder must be marked on each cylinder in large letters. Oxygen is a common gas supplied in cylinders. The usual size for welding contains 244 cubic feet of oxygen under a pressure of 2,200 pounds per square inch, which is a lot of pressure. A protective cap is supplied with each cylinder to protect the valve when the cylinder is not connected for use. Pure oxygen will not burn or explode. It supports combustion, which means it causes other substances to burn when they are raised to the kindling temperature. Combustible materials burn much more rapidly in oxygen than in air. Oxygen forms explosive mixtures in certain proportions with acetylene, hydrogen, and other combustible materials. Acetylene for welding and cutting is usually supplied in cylinders having a capacity up to about 300 cubic feet of dissolved acetylene under pressure of 250 pounds per square inch. Acetylene cylinders should be completely filled with an improved porous material impregnated with acetone, the solvent for acetylene. Since acetylene is highly soluble in acetone at cylinder filling pressure, large quantities of acetylene can be stored in comparatively small cylinders at relatively low pressure. Acetylene and oxygen are combined in welding operations as acetylene burned with oxygen can produce a higher flame temperature of approximately 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit than any other gas used commercially. The hazard appears to be quite high considering the flammable limits of acetylene which range from 2.5 percent to 81 percent acetylene in air. When handling or using any compressed gas cylinder, extreme caution is the basic safety rule. LP gas is another compressed gas stored in approved cylinders. Liquefied petroleum gases include any material which is composed predominantly of hydrocarbons such as propane, propylene, butane, and butylenes. The gases liquefy under moderate pressure but convert into a gaseous state upon relief of the pressure. Containers have special approval markings and pressure relief valves for safety. LP gas is quite flammable and must be handled with extreme care. Serious accidents may result from misuse, abuse, or mishandling of compressed gas cylinders. Persons handling cylinders under pressure should be properly trained and follow all company policies and procedures relating to compressed gases. Let's take a look at some basic safety rules. However, each company may have their own established rules and procedures. In this case, follow your company's policies and procedures. The rules outlined in this program are basic safety rules. Number one, use cylinders, particularly those containing liquefied gases and acetylene, in an upright position and secure them against accidentally being knocked over. Unless the cylinder valve is protected by a recession in the head, Keep the metal cap in place to protect the valve when the cylinder is not connected for use. A blow on an unprotected valve might cause gas under high pressure to escape. Number three, make sure the threads on a regulator or union correspond to those on the cylinder valve outlet. Do not force connections that do not fit. Number four, open cylinder valves slowly. A cylinder not provided with a hand wheel valve should be opened with a spindle key or a special wrench or other tool provided or approved by the gas supplier. Do not use a cylinder of compressed gas without a pressure reducing regulator attached to the cylinder valve, except where cylinders are attached to a manifold, in which case the regulator will be attached to the manifold header. Number six, before making connection to a cylinder valve outlet, crack the valve for an instant to clear the opening of particles of dust or dirt. Always point the valve and opening away from the body and not toward anyone else. Never crack a fuel gas cylinder valve near other welding work or near sparks, open flames, or other possible sources of ignition. Number seven. Use regulators and pressure gauges only with the gases for which they are designed and intended. Do not attempt to repair or alter cylinders, valves, or attachments. This work should be done only by the manufacturer. Number eight, unless the cylinder valve has first been closed tightly, do not attempt to stop a leak between the cylinder and the regulator by tightening the union nut. Number nine, 
Fuel gas cylinders in which leaks occur should be taken out of use immediately and handled as follows. Close the valve and take the cylinder outdoors well away from any source of ignition. Properly tag the cylinder and notify the supplier. A regulator attached to the valve may be used temporarily to stop a leak through the valve seat. If the leak occurs at a fuse plug, take the cylinder outdoors away from possible sources of ignition and open the cylinder valve slightly, allowing the gas to escape slowly. Plainly tag the cylinder to warn others. Keep the area free of visitors or from any source of ignition. Notify the gas supplier and follow the supplier's recommendations. It would also be a good idea to notify your local fire department. Number 10. Do not permit sparks, molten metal, electrical circuits or currents, excessive heat, or flames to come in contact with the cylinder or attachments. Number 11. Never use oil or grease as a lubricant on valves or attachments of oxygen cylinders. Keep oxygen cylinders and fittings away from oil and grease and do not handle such cylinders or apparatus with oily hands, gloves, or clothing. Number 12. Never use oxygen as a substitute for compressed air in pneumatic tools, in oil preheating burners, to start internal combustion engines, or to dust clothing. Use it only for the purpose intended. Number 13. Never bring cylinders into tanks or unventilated rooms or other close quarters. Number 14. Do not fill cylinders except with the consent of the owner and then only in accordance with DOT regulations. Do not attempt to mix gases in a compressed gas cylinder or to use it for purposes other than those intended by the supplier. Number 15. Before a regulator is removed from a cylinder valve, close the cylinder valve and release the gas from the regulator. These are the basics of using compressed gas cylinders. For those persons using manifold systems and regulators, more training is required. Each organization has safety rules, procedures, and policies relating to the use of compressed gas cylinders. It's up to each and every employee to know, understand, and follow your company's rules and procedures. Thank you.